Hi guys, welcome back to Wake Up and Makeup. Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to do a quick and easy makeup look. So keep watching. So today's coffee is just a flavored latte. This is a French vanilla mixed with a little bit of vanilla caramel creamer. It's just the stuff that I get at the store with coffee meat. I was a little bit too lazy to actually make some real coffee, but still good. All right, let's get into this. First thing is prepping the skin. I already washed, moisturized, and all that. I'm gonna start off with Too Faced Hangover Primer. I got this in my Ipsy bag a couple months ago. If you guys don't have Ipsy, I really recommend you checking it out because it is really amazing. I'm just going to massage that mostly in the areas that my pores are bigger and I feel like I need a better coverage. So in my T-zone, my forehead, this kind of has like a woodsy coconut smell to it. So if you haven't already noticed, I'm a little stuffy. It's that time of the year again. So if I say words a little bit weird. We all know what I really mean. Okay, now, time for foundation. So it is winter time. Well, technically it's fall, but I'm going switching into my winter foundation, which is Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. And I'm really white. I mean, really white in the winter time. So I'm using shade 110 in porcelain. We went fishing over the weekend and I wore a t-shirt we were on a boat. Do you see this? So instead of a beauty blender, I am using a brush. This is a brush by Morphe. It is the Morphe M439 brush. It's a very good stippling brush for foundation, which I like. I just feel sometimes using a beauty blender can be really tedious. Plus this is a daytime look, so you just really want something that'll just smooth over nicely. I need to add some. This might be a little too white. I can always add some color. It matches my neck, but it just makes the rest of me look pasty white. To kind of balance this out, I'm going to go in with a darker shade. I'm gonna go in with shade 220, same Matte and poreless Maybelline. I'll just bring it down my neck a little bit farther. And a trick that I like to use when blending out foundation, if you're wearing a white t-shirt. Now I feel like I'm at the dinner table. So this is a daytime look. I'm not really going for a stippling method where I just pat it into my face for a more full coverage. I just want to buff it in to give me a nice sheen glow. So now I'm going to do my brows, I'm going to brush them and use the Maybelline Brow Pencil in Dark Brown and if you want to see a full in-depth tutorial on that, you can go check out my first tutorial which is my everyday go-to look. So I'll be right back. So I think in my everyday go-to makeup look, I used the Revlon Eyebrow Pencil and in this one I'm using the Maybelline Brow Pencil which I think I like a lot better than the Revlon because this one has a more neutral dark brown, whereas the Revlon has a more reddish undertone kind of brown. So I think I just found my new favorite pencil. So for concealer, I will be using the Great Cover Up by M. Michelle Fawn and Cosmetics. I got this in my Ipsy bag as well. I use this also in my last video. So. Same as just before, I'm going to create four lines on my face. So now I'm also going to take a brush. This one is also by Morphe. This is the Morphe M462 brush. I like this because it is a big tapered brush that can get into your eye socket. So I'm going to use this to blend out my concealer. Now this concealer for my skin tone is a neutral color but I'm gonna go in with a highlight concealer to brighten it up so if it looks a little bit dark that's okay I'm just covering up all my freckles and I like to just drag it down my face this one has really great coverage and it spreads 
a long way. Like I pretty much just covered up my entire cheek. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye down my forehead. So now for my highlight concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Better Skin Corrector Concealer in the shade Ivory. This is going to help highlight. I'm gonna take this and go into all the areas that I want to highlight, just under my eyes. I like doing one eye, one part of my face at a time, so that way it doesn't set. Also, I really like this Maybelline concealer because it almost acts like a translucent brightener because it doesn't change the color of my skin, it just brightens it. So for contour, I'm using my CoverGirl Liquid Powder Foundation in Classic Tan. And to apply this, I'm going to be using another Morphe brush, is the Morphe M458. So I'm gonna apply this into the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, and nose contouring around my cheekbone to really pop it out. To buff that in, I'm gonna be using my foundation brush that I was using earlier and just... This one I am stippling in because I don't want to rub it all over my face. I always like to blend out my contour upwards. I don't really know why. I just like to blend it upwards so it doesn't make my cheekbones look really long. So now I'm gonna contour my nose. This is how I like to measure out my contour. I have my center of the nose right here. I have my eyebrows right there. I have my arch of my nose right, the flares of my nose right there. What I like to do is I like to, right when the flares of your nose, my nose curves, I like to get into that point and then go all the way straight up. Start from where it curves to the bridge of my nose and just drag it upwards. Then I'm also going to take it along my jawline to help bring out my jawline. And this I just like to use to wipe off the excess product. I don't really use, like to use a whole lot along my neck because I don't like it getting on my clothes. So I'm taking my same foundation brush and buffing that in. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, which you should be following all my social media, especially Snapchat, because <laughs> let's just face it, Snapchat is where everyone just acts like a dork. This girl was asking me how I, you know, how I get so good at doing my makeup, and I told her I was like, I'm nowhere near a professional. The only thing is just practice, practice and playing. That's one thing that I like about makeup is you can do. Anything you want, the limits are endless. So now moving on to powder. For bronzer, I am using Makeup Art Cosmetics in the shade NC55. So now I'm taking the Morphe M403, which is a medium tapered brush. I'm not using the big one because I want this to be a more precise. Take that and apply it on top of my contour areas. And with an ever so lightly hand, you just, because you don't want to make sure you put too much on because then your face will look really, like, you will be able to tell you have makeup on. And we just want to go for a nice face. When I do my forehead, I don't like to swipe it like I do on my cheekbones. I like to tap it because I don't like it to be extremely harsh. Again, wipe the excess off to also Get rid of your double chin. So for powder, I'm gonna be mixing two different powders. I'm taking a Morphe M401. This is a big fluffy tapered brush. I'm taking Art Cosmetics and take it along my under eyes, over my nose. This also helps to soften your nose contour down my chin. So now for the next powder, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. And I'm just gonna go right on top of that just to mattify everything. Plus I like to take the extra powder and just go over our contour lines to soften everything and blend it all together. Now onto eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in to my Makeup Works Matte Perfection Palette. And I'm just going to do a nude eye. 
This is going to be somewhat similar to my everyday go-to makeup look because it is a day look, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. First, I'm going to take my Morphe AS10 brush, the two-sided flat concealer brush. I'm going to take the smaller side and blend out any creases that I may have on my eyes because you want a smooth base to work off of. So now I'm going to be taking this, this nude color right here for a bone color and just put it all over my lid. So now I'm going to go in with this color here, right here, Cozy, and I'm going to take the taper side of my dual brush that comes with the palette, and I'm just going to take it into my crease. Just with windshield wiper motions, just blend, blend, blend until those harsh lines go away. And with this one, I am just blending from the crease a little bit towards my brow bone because this is going to be a nice bone color for our other eyeshadows. So next, I'm going to take this color right here, Flirt, this nice pretty pink color, and I'm gonna put that on my lid. Uh, I'm gonna start from my crease and bring it down to blend in with that cozy color. And to help brighten up my eyes a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with the white alabaster. I'm gonna go ahead and take that on my lid as well. And then to add a bit of color to my underlines, I'm gonna take that same cozy color and just, just very lightly just sweep it along my bottom lash line just so it doesn't look like my eyes are naked underneath. That is the eye look. Now for a daytime look, I'm just going to be using mascara. This is the Maybelline Full On Soft Mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lash it, some mascara. I'm gonna apply my mascara and I'll be right back. So I got my mascara done. I let down my hair. I almost forgot to do my blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take that same contour brush that I use for my bronzer. And I'm going to be using Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks blush in the shade Peachy Peach Pink. And this blush has a lot of gold uh, reflex in it, which is some, some people may not like the gold, but with this look, I like it because it the eyes is like a peachy gold kind of look. So now I'm going to do my lips. And I'm going to be using the, I use this thing for everything, my brows, my lips. It's a package that comes in two, so I save one for my brows and then a separate one for my lips. I'm going to be using the same dark brown and I'm going to outline my lips. But first, I'm going to put on some chapstick. I like applying chapstick before lip liner because to me, it feels like it goes on a lot smoother without leaving a harsh edge and then just ever so slightly I like to take flat take it flat on its side and just outline my lips so now I'm going to take this Seraphine Botanical Guava Butter in the shade Pure Guava and I'm going to take this this you can use as a cheek blush as a eyeshadow color and also for lips so very multi-purpose which I like so now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pat it along my lips. I'm not going to swipe it because I don't want the full color. I just want a hint of color because I want a very deep nude. So now to set this all into place, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. I'm just going to spray it all over my face. So that's it guys, this is how I like to do a quick and easy makeup look. Don't forget to give me a like and a thumbs up. Also, if you have any other makeup ideas that you would like to see here on Wake Up and Makeup, don't forget to leave me a comment in the section below. Also, watch out for our Wake Up Technique that I will be showcasing how to make a nutty mocha. So keep a lookout for that. Um, I hope you all have a very blessed day. Until next time, bye.